So let's move on to the third objective of uh, launching a secure website, a HTTPS website, as we had already talked about the benefits of having a HTTPS website over HTTP. So the prerequisite is that you should have a couple of things already ready with you. Like you should have the certificate from the CA. So I can write here. These things must be with you. And in the exam, these things will be provided to you by the examiner. So don't worry about this. You should have a CA certificate. Right? You should have a website key or like the server key. So you should have that and the certificate for the website which is being signed by the CA. So signed certificate for website and website key, secret key. So these things should be with you. And in the exam, these things will be, be provided to you by the examiner. So need not to worry, he will give you the path. You just need to download those, uh, those things. So let's do this. So as it's a new machine, I have to install HTTP. As well as I have to install a module mod underscore SSL. Because we intend to have the HTTPS website. So these two packages need to be installed here. So you should remember about mod underscore SSL, secure socket layer. Just install the package. Done. So once the package is installed, I will be creating our default document root. So again, I will go under, I will create a folder under SRV. Say so SRV, I create one machine, say www0 and www. Same, I am following the same structure. So now if I move under SRV, www0 and www, this is my default document root. So I need to have one index.html file here. Same stuff, index.html. So I write here, this is a HTTPS website, anything. So in the exam, even this file will be given to you. You need not to create it, just need to download from the path which is already specified. Now. So, my structure is ready here. So if I go to SRV, okay, I don't have the tree command, so let me just install it. This is, this I had already done. Now, I need to download the certificates. So, as we know that the certificates will be storing under FCPKI TLS and certs. So move to this folder and then here you can download the folders from the machine so I just give a wget this path whatever I am writing here will be given to you in the exam so don't worry about this just need to remember the location classroom.example.com or whatever the name is pub I give example hyphen ca.crt download this so this is saved example hyphen ca dot crt so next i also need to download the certificate for the website so here i will be so remember this fcpk tls certs will be containing the certificate not the private key so i will give here http wget not httpd classroom dot example dot com slash pub slash tls slash certs and i give here www zero because in my case i am zero server zero you can see my host name dot crt so this is also received now i need to have the private key so private key need not to be here you, sh you should not be downloading the private key in this folder move one step back and go under the private folder so inside the private folder, you should have the private key. Again, do a wget here. This is the only additional step that you need to do, apart from couple of lines that we'll be adding in the conf file. So I give a pub tls private, and I say www0.t. So these three things will be be given to you in the exam. You just need to download. 
So we had downloaded the certificates and the CA certificate, the website certificate and the website private. Now, once it is there, as the key is need to be secured, so I will make sure that it should not be world readable. So make it 600, which is a good security practice. That makes sense. Now once it is 600, I need to create a conf file. Again, as it will be a virtual hosting, so I will be going under etc httpd conf.d folder. So I go under etc httpd conf.d give it any name say www.0.conf in my case name can be anything now here you should be writing the same block virtual host so either you can copy it from the previous configuration as it is a ss https site so it should be running on 443 not 80 so this is the thing that you should remember then again you will be specifying all the same parameter server name www.example.com uh, now these are the some new lines SSL engine should be on couple of new lines you will find here SSL protocol you should write here say all on SSL version 2 sorry and SSL version 3 Okay, then you should write the cipher suite high medium. Just need to re remember this not null and not MD5. Now just enable the cipher. Form cipher order on. Now the three lines. Thus so your CA certificate line, your key file, the private key of the website and the certificate for the website. That the path you need to specify. So SSL certificate file. So this is the your CA certificate. So at CPKI TLS certs, this is exam. Uh, sorry, this, this, it's your uh, website certificate. Certs. I say www zero dot crt. And the key file SSL certificate key file. The private key as the name is self explanatory to give SC PKI TLS private and the key name was www0.c. So make sure you, you don't do any typos here and SSL certificate chain file. This is the your CA certificate. So SC PKI TLS. Search example hyphen ca dot crt or whatever name you have, and obviously you need to specify the document root and the directory index. Document root is my SRV www zero and www or the path. Though the directory index again is not mandatory, but still let's give it. Now close this, then allow this directory. Same stuff. These couple of lines, additional lines you need to remember for the SSL. So now I need to add a directory parameter here. And my SRV, sorry, www0, www, and allow it, require same stuff all granted if you don't do this you will be getting error that's all so this is it
So if I save and come out from here and I restart my Apache and make sure that in the firewall you should have the HTTPS allowed. And obviously you need to give the restore con also. I hope you still remember. It's changed. So if I give a ll hyphen z of SRV www index.html it's httpd underscore sys underscore content underscore t. Fair enough. So I have started the I think I had started the Apache service. Then make sure that the HTTPS should be allowed in your firewall. So if I give firewall D hyphen CMD hyphen hyphen list hyphen all, so it's not there. So let me add it. Simple stuff. You are expert in this hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add service HTTPS. And Hyphen hyphen add service HTTP also. You can add both the things. Success firewall CMD hyphen hyphen reload. So if I give the same command of list, it should show me yeah, HTTP and HTTPS are coming which were not there earlier. So this is it. This is how you configure your uh, SSL or HTTPS website. Now to check it, I can go onto the desktop machine which you are seeing there and try to access the website. So if I go here and I write here HTTPS slash slash server 0 dot sorry www 0 sorry it is www.example.com let's see yeah it's coming up because I need to trust the certificate, accept the certificate. So I understand the risk, add exception, get certificate, confirm security. So it's a HTTPS website. You can see there the lock is coming up here and your website is coming up. So this is again a very important exam objective. And the only thing that you need to remember is this, these couple of lines in your virtual host file these SSL lines the SSL protocol and cipher these are not required just need to give SSL engine on and these lines it will work this is a exam objective so you should be able to do this and in the Apache the last objective which is left is how can I have a dynamic contents available via the Apache so I need to have some uh, like script or some application which is running. So let's in the next session uh, in the, or in the next video, I'll share you how to integrate your dynamic web contents. But for HTTPS side, this is all you need to do. So let's do the dynamic contents for Apache in the next video.